Hey guys and welcome to another First Impressions video, the video game series in which we look at a recently released game and I give you my first thoughts and impressions on it. Today we're looking at Food Truck Simulator the demo which is by the same developers that brought you Gas Station Simulator. So far it's pretty damn good but there are a few issues, namely that the demo itself is actually very buggy, not well optimized and it is there's been a few issues where I've had to restart the game to um, get it to a point where I was at before because I couldn't access things due to the screen going a bit funky. That being said, we'll do what we always do. We'll look at the options first and then we'll dive into the gameplay and I will give you my first thoughts and impressions on that gameplay. So let's not waste any more time. Let's jump straight into the thick of it and see what this has to offer. All right, this is the options menu and honestly it kind of suffers from trying to make it look more than what it is and i don't know if that's because on full release there are going to be more options available but right now you've got a lot of tabs that don't really need to be there the gameplay one for example just gives you language and like difficulty and it takes up a lot of screen space that doesn't need to be there i don't know why they don't um change it and, and or just merge this into another setting somewhere outside of that you've then got your audio settings which is fairly standard master sound effects music and voice then again you've got display options and then graphic settings why not just put them all into the same one that being said you've got your fps lock if you want to lock it your v-sync brightness field of view and resolution says so everything you'd expect from a display menu there and then your graphics options now they're all fairly there's a decent amount here but there are a few issues with it namely it's got dlss but it doesn't seem to work properly it doesn't seem to give you better graphics for increased performance it it kind of makes it very laggy and and just doesn't the, the, the game doesn't feel well optimized just yet there's a there's a few lags during cutscenes and when you're loading into the world there's a lot of popping so i don't know whether they are going to try and improve the lss or not but i'm running a 2060 super on this um on this pc and like i say there are some performance issues that being said once you're into the game it does run fairly smooth you've got your a method here your quality, it would be nice if it was, you know, numbered instead of just epic. Uh, shadows, foliage, post-processing. You have got motion blur. I have turned that off. You've got your lens flares, bloom, ambient occlusion, etc. I will say the game looks really good. I'm, I'm quite impressed with how the game looks overall. Just if they can work on that optimization and make it run a bit smoother, that would be great. It's obvious that they've gone more ambitious with this over their previous titles. Um, I just hope that it's not a case of they've bitten off more than they can chew. After that, you've got your controls, which are keyboard. You can rebind them. Um, I will say that moving about in the van is really annoying, and it would be nice if they added maybe a quick travel option. So you can choose to drive around, or you can just fast travel to your destination, because driving around with a keyboard and mouse is not fun and quite frustrating. But it is nice that they have rebound the keys so you can do whatever you want there. And then your credits. So that's the options menu. I feel like it's been a bit drawn out. It could possibly be streamlined a little bit. And then the actual effects of the options would be nice if they're a bit more optimized. Let's look at the gameplay and see what it is you can do there. All right then. So we're in the game. Um, as you can see, we've got our food truck here. We are going to be driving from the store to the first mission. It is worth noting that the demo does have a save feature, which is nice. However, the save feature or the auto saves are very few and far between. Um, when I played this first, I actually did all this already and I've already um, beaten this area. But this shows you just how diabolically bad the steering and everything is in this game. They have added a lot of particle effects in, which is kind of cool. So if you hit, say, a lamppost, it will knock down and cause sparks flying. And you can run people over and all that good stuff. There's a few um, physics effects in the game. But overall, driving, for me at least, is not a very fun experience. 
Then, on top of stopping, you've then got to hold E to activate the mission. Which feels like it takes a bit too long. Again, I have enjoyed my time with this game. Um, I just feel like there's a few things they could work on. And one of that is to add a fast travel to the points you you can go to. So you can avoid driving around if you don't enjoy it. Leave it as an optional to explore the city. Or maybe have it where you've got to drive to the place first before you can just quick travel to that place. Once you've done that, you have the customers waiting for you and your orders on the thing. Now, we are going to go through some speak here. I will say the voice acting is pretty damn good. I'm very I'm very impressed with the voice acting. Unfortunately, you can't skip it. It would be nice if they had a skip feature. So again, if you load in to a, an earlier bit, you can just skip through it. Now, we're going to try and turn the grill on, but obviously we have no gas. So what we're going to have to do is go into the shelf, turn on the radio, do all that in order. Um, you can change the radio station if you so desire but that is by the by and then you've got your orders up here so you click on them and it will show you what you need you have to then turn the grill on but you've run out of gas so you go through your shelf no take the gas there you go so because we're in tutorial stage it, it's taking a while also this gas bottle is obscenely large and doesn't last very long it's also very finicky with where it wants you to go. It's very finicky of to where it is you're supposed to push things, which is a bit annoying. Now, the grills and everything are on a timer. So what I would say is if it's going to let me. No. So because I'm in the tutorial and I'm having to do it again, it is being a bit annoying. You've basically... The way that the tutorial teaches you is not really the way you want to do it. It's like, I'll oh, cook this, then um, put the, the burger box dispenser on. But it's more a case of, if you do that, you're more likely to burn your meat and everything, which is not really ideal. Um, what you can do, though, is you can take other items out and put them on the assembly table ready to be um, cut up and everything. The cutting mechanism is actually really, um, it's really, really good. This is not letting me put it on the cutting board yet, is it? No. Cool. So, as you cook, you will see that it changes from rare to medium. We want the meat well done and the bacon well done as well. If you leave it on too long, it will burn and that will cost you money and time. As you can see, you've got time on the order. So if you're not careful and if you take too long, then what will happen is you will um, you'll lose money, essentially. Take the mill, take the bacon, take the burger box and place it on the assembly table, like so. It is very, very awkward to do at start. I've taken it from the grill. Why are you not? Hello? It's there. Cut the buttons. There you go. Right. And you shift and it will tell you here. So this is basically how you do it. And you've got to, you get into the swing of it. Like to start with, it's quite daunting, right? You're doing all this nonsense and you're like, okay, you know, what do I do? How do I do it? But once you get into the swing of things, you, you start prepping and you take things out. And it is quite fun and quite challenging at the same time. These games are often quite finicky and very precise in how you do them. So I'm not really surprised by the way that it is, you know, is it the way that it's working right now. It's pretty much to be um, expected. So then we cut our tomato up. I will say that the cutting board is the most finicky of all of them. Um, it feels like my mouse doesn't necessarily want to go where I'm telling it to. I move it forward and it comes back. It's a bit more than a little bit awkward and would be nice if it didn't do that so now we're going to take one of our toasted buns i don't know where the other one's gone we're going to put it in a box i'm going to put some tomato in there and another tomato in there and then we are going to put some cheese in there and then we're going to put our meat in there now the other bad thing is once you start it won't let you um stop i have genuinely lost my burger where where is me hello 
Great, so I've lost a bun. Like I say, it's a bit buggy. So I put my bun on the chopping board. I've got to move the products first. Also, apparently you can't move more than one piece of tomato at a time, which is a bit weird. Your hands get full after one item. It, it makes it really awkward when you know in real life that's not how it would be. So we're going to have to cut this one up a little bit again. And then we're going to have to toast one of them again. So I've got an odd amount of things. Why are you not letting me put this on grill? Thank you. No? I'm going to let me do it, huh? Cool. So I actually can't finish this order. Because one of the buns has bugged out and gone somewhere. And it won't let me put this down anywhere. Great. Fantastic. The other things you can do is you will go to the garage and you will um, basically upgrade each of these items. You've got a full garage that you can access. But unfortunately, the problem is that because it is quite a long time between um, runs, you can't just exit. It won't let you just exit until all the orders are finished. And there is no manual save. It's just auto save. So if you do just exit out the game, what you'll be left with is you'll have to come back and do that again. And that's not cool. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start a new game. I'm going to load back in. I'll be able to show you how you upgrade your truck. Um, like I say, the demo is very buggy. And that's a problem because things clip through. I've lost the top bun. I can't put this bun on the grill again. Because it, it literally won't let me because this is a tutorial essentially and it's wanting me to do um, it's wanting me to do it in a certain way. So that should have given you an idea of how you build a burger. Now we're gonna look at how you um, how you actually customize and upgrade your truck by starting a brand new game. Let's do that. All right then so this is how you customize your truck now. Obviously, I'm going to be very limited in what I can do and show you because I've had to start a new game to actually get to this point so that I can show you how it works. As you get through the game, it will actually allow you to do a lot more and you will have a lot more options available. But what you can do is you can paint your truck. You get some more colors as you go along. We're going to start with a nice uh, yellowy orange tint. Then you've got a layout. Again, they've only got three. I don't know if they're going to give you more as you go along because um, this one doesn't have anything that's like unlocked and you've got your wheels again as you can see the higher level you go and more prestige you will be able to do more things you've got paint you've got wheels you've got mirrors the only thing I don't like about this is the mirror angle I think that the mirror angle could be a bit higher up which would give you a better look you've got bumper so you can upgrade the bumper and basically make it so that your truck looks just better in general. Your hood. What's annoying is because this is a tutorial, even though these are free, it won't let you access them yet. And I feel that that's a problem. I think it should just be like, this is how you customize it. Let you do one option and then let you just go crazy. But it, it won't. It will be very, very specific in what it wants you to do. And that is a massive problem to me. Then you've got your lights. Again, you need prestige for that and your headlights at the front as well. Then you've got your upgrades, your shop, which is where you will order your items from your PC, which will give you essentially um, a discount on what you're buying, all your stock and stuff. Although there is a purchase limit, which is a bit weird. So your upgrades is where you will um, buy things for your, your truck that allows you to um, essentially do more now what's interesting is it will give you a load of these upgrades for free as you progress through the game i don't know if they're going to allow you to level up as you go along but i would assume that in the full release there will be more then you've got your inventory which is where you've got all the things for your shelves and everything else once you bought it your inbox and your map which you will later understand as well Honestly, to me, the customization, if they add a lot to it, will be the most fun part of this game. The cooking and stuff is interesting, and I like the way they do it, but I can see it being very, very frustrating, especially if things are not fixed upon full release and items and stuff do clip through and disappear, especially if it's trying to teach you how to do something for the first time. 
not the best look. Honestly, I think this game could be great. I think this game could be a lot of fun. But the demo does not put the game's best foot forward, in my opinion. However, feel free to agree with me, disagree with me in those comments down below. And I shall see you all next time. Ciao, ciao.